Hello and welcome to Wild Heart Yoga Holistic Healing. For class three of this beginner's yin and yang foundation series, let's begin today at the back of our mat in a gentle child's pose. So beginning on the knees with the big toes together and with some space between the knees, begin to walk the hands forward, allowing the chest and forehead to reach towards the mat. Now we have a few options here for modifications if this is a bit intense. First, you have the option of taking something like a pillow or a bolster between the back of the thighs and the calves to create a little more space and make this easier on the knees. Or you can place a pillow under the knees if it's hard on the kneecaps themselves. Then we can also place a pillow or a bolster or a block perhaps under the forehead or maybe under the chest for some additional support if needed. So as always, be sure to listen to your body, find the variation that best serves you today, and then begin to settle into the stillness here. Finding a deeper quiet in the mind, a stillness in the body, as you begin to anchor your awareness to the breath. Feel the low belly as you take an inhale through the nose. Then exhale fully and slowly, maybe walking the fingertips a little bit further. Surrendering into the pose as you exhale all the air from the lungs. I would invite you now as we are here to set your intention for today's practice. Take another inhale. As you exhale, begin to walk the hands toward the left now, taking a side body stretch through the right side, going a bit deeper into the hip, the low back and shoulder. Again, inhale, drawing that breath into any areas of stiffness or tension. As you exhale fully, imagine that tension melting away, leaving the body releasing any resistance, any tension that you don't need right now to surrender deeper to this pose. Wonderful. With your next exhale, begin to gently walk the hands back to the center. Then continuing slowly as you make your way to the right side now. Now stretching through that left side body and shoulder a little deeper. Inhale, anchoring your awareness. And exhale, letting go of anything that isn't serving you in this moment feeling yourself deeply rooted to the earth beneath you. Today our practice is all about connecting to our deeper awareness, knowing ourselves deeper. So as we go through this practice, each time you notice the mind wander, I'd encourage you to simply notice whatever is coming up for you. Notice whatever emotional reaction you have to your thoughts. And without judgment, simply see if you can let those thoughts go, bringing your attention, focus back to this breath. So I'll leave you now for a few more moments of stillness in this pose. Go inward, get out of the mind and into the body.
All right, with your next exhale, go ahead and start walking the hands back to the center once more. And then walking the hands backwards, rolling the spine up one vertebrae at a time, removing any props if you have any now, and then coming to a seated position. So here we're just finding an easy seat. And if you have trouble sitting with a tall spine, your low back has some rounding through it, then here I'd encourage you to use a pillow or rolled blanket, anything you have around, to just wedge under the hips slightly so that you're leaning forward, the hips are being tilted a bit to give you the straighter spine. So let's take an inhale now, lengthening through that spine, then bringing the right hand to the left knee and left fingertips to the mat, begin to gently twist toward the left, looking over that left shoulder to complete this spinal twist. Again, inhale deeply. And exhale fully and slowly. Scan through the body as you're here. Notice what you're feeling, where the tension is, any areas of pain, any ways you can improve your posture. Making sure you're still sitting tall. Imagining a string pulling from the top of the head up into the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, dropping the shoulders down and away from the ears. Maybe twisting a little deeper if the body allows. Enjoying this gentle compression through the spine, through the internal organs. Through these twists, we create a compression. So then once we release, we can have this increased power of flow, of energy, blood flow and circulation through these areas that we are targeting and through the fascia particularly. Continue breathing on your own now, just a few moments longer on this side. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, release the hands, untwisting, finding a neutral position once more. Take just a moment to allow that spine to re-neutralize. As you simply feel any changes that have occurred through that pose. Then let's inhale once more, lengthening through the spine. As you exhale, left fingertips coming to the right knee now, as you twist toward the right, looking over that right shoulder to complete the twist. Then bringing your awareness back to the breath, being intentional to stay in the body, to stay presently in this moment. And as we're here, notice if this side feels any different than the first side did. Bringing your awareness to these imbalances within the body, to different areas of tension being held, as well as continuing to notice the thoughts, to notice what comes up for you and how your thoughts shape your emotional reality. Being mindful to try to let go of anything that isn't serving you in this moment in order to remain fully here right now. Less than one minute left on the side.
Wonderful job with your next exhale. Gently release the body once more. And in your own time, find your way onto your back for a short rebound. Gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back. Arms at the sides, palms facing up. And simply feel the echo of the pose. If you need more time in your rebound, then feel free to pause the video. But if you're ready to move on to the next pose, then turn on to your left side and meet me in tabletop. So starting on our hands and knees, take an inhale. As you exhale, gently step the right foot forward toward the front of the mat. We're going to begin by making sure that we have a good lunge form. So here, we want to make sure that that front knee isn't going beyond the toes. Ideally, we want the knee aligned above the ankle. And then from here, begin to maybe walk that back leg back further, finding our baby dragon, our low lunge pose. Here, it's important to make sure that the tailbone is tucked under, so we're pulling that belly button into the spine taking any curve out of that low back. So we're engaging the core, keeping a neutral spine here, and then begin to take some micro adjustments, moving side to side, squaring off the hips by thinking about shifting that back hip forward and the front hip back slightly. Feel out this pose, and then begin to settle in here. Now you can have the hands resting on your hips, on the front knee, or on some blocks, on the sides if you have trouble reaching the floor and need some more stability. Once again, take your time to find your pose, pausing the video if you need to, and then begin to settle into a stillness once you find those areas of tension in your own body. And begin breathing deeply into those areas once more. Scan through the body here, being aware of the areas you're targeting. Here we're trying to target the psoas muscle, which comes through that hip flexor area, the front of the hip. And we are also targeting the quad, or the front of the thigh. Once again, relax any tension in the body that you don't need right here. Being surrendered to this pose. We have just a few more deep breaths here, and then we will take a different variation. Great job. Now we're going to take another variation by bringing both hands on the inside of the front foot, using those blocks if you need to. Then we're going to heel toe the right foot toward the outer edge of the mat and begin allowing that knee to fall to the side as the foot rolls to the pinky toe edge. Here we're going to place one hand on the knee to help press it away a little further and begin twisting, looking up toward the sky. Allow the ego to fade away, making sure you aren't forcing anything here, but you're simply allowing the body to move at its own pace, giving it the time and space it needs, the surrender, to let go, to take you deeper. So here we are targeting the hip flexor and psoas area on the left leg, as well as going deeper into the outside of the hip on that right leg. Continue using your breath to dwell in this moment, to breathe through any discomfort or tension, knowing that you have the strength to stay here. It is more of a mental battle than a physical one. And as long as you aren't feeling any sharp sorts of pain, then your body is capable of this. 
So continue to breathe through it. You're doing awesome. We have less than one minute left on this side. Let's take one more inhale here. As you exhale, gently begin to untwist the body and step your right foot back, finding your way back into a tabletop once more. Then we're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees as we lead with the hips and begin pressing back into down dog, keeping the knees bent if you need to. Just holding your down dog or taking any movement that feels good for your body right now. And as we're here, simply notice how that left side is feeling different than the right side is. Slowly begin to lower back toward tabletop now. Take an inhale. And with your exhale, go ahead and step the left foot to the front of the mat now. Once again, beginning by finding that good lunge position, making sure the knee is aligned above the ankle, moving that back foot further away if you can, but making sure those hips are tucked, belly button pulled into the spine for this engaged core. And then if you can, settle the hips a little deeper, placing the hands wherever is best for you, on the front of the knee, on the hips or on some blocks or on the floor. Again, making this pose your own, listening to your body and taking whatever variation or modifications best serve your body's unique needs today. Inhale into that low belly space, inviting relaxation into the body, stillness into the mind. And exhale fully and slowly, allowing the body to surrender deeper into this pose, to surrender to this moment. Accepting yourself in whatever condition you are in right now, with compassion, with grace and self-love. Where you are is exactly where you need to be. Just 30 more seconds here. All right, and when you're ready, we're going to begin taking our twisted dragon with wing now. So begin heel toeing that left foot toward the outer edge of the mat with the hands on the inside of the foot now. Take an inhale, placing the left hand on the knee. As you exhale, begin to twist to the left, looking up toward the sky, completing this twist. Going deeper into that Left hip now, as well as into the right psoas and hip flexor. Also into the spine with this gentle compression. Dwell in this moment. Enjoying the release that this is giving your body. Knowing that even if it doesn't feel super great right now, that the benefits are to come that you're doing wonderful things for the body and mind 
by learning to breathe through discomfort, and through that, learning to increase your threshold for distress tolerance. I'm going to leave you this last minute to go inward, to enjoy the quiet stillness. Wonderful job when you're ready. Go ahead and release the body, stepping yourself back into tabletop, lifting the knees and leading with the hips as you press your way back into down dog again. So once again, make sure you're keeping those knees bent if you need to, prioritizing maintaining that flat spine over having straight legs. Whenever you're ready, once again, find your way onto your back for another short rebound. Gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back, arms at the sides, palms facing up. Once more, feel the echo of the pose. When you're ready, go ahead and turn onto your left side again and meet me in seated for our next pose together. We are going to take our single leg saddle now. Now this is a pose that can be really difficult for some people. So just watch first and I'll show you some variations and then we can settle into the pose together. So first we're gonna do this by extending the right leg. We're bending the left leg so that heel is coming towards the hip and you can start by lifting yourself up on the hands a bit and settling down into this, just make sure that you aren't sitting on the foot. And you can have the foot turned out, so a bend in the ankle, or you can have the toes pointed with the top of the foot flat against the mat, whichever is more comfortable for you today. Then if you have trouble sitting down in this position or it's not even possible, then we can try starting by sitting on a block or a bolster, something to give the hips a little boost here and this will make it much easier. Now, if you can sit down on the glutes, but your hips are uneven, then try it wedging just a pillow under the one side that's lower, and this will help to even out the hips more. So now go ahead and find whichever variation best serves you today. And then we can begin placing the hands behind us, leaning back slightly, walking the hands back as far as the body allows, and maybe you're just gonna stay sitting up today. That's totally fine. But if you can go further, then maybe rest the elbows onto a pillow or a bolster or some blocks, or perhaps rest the elbows all the way on the floor. Or the most advanced variation is to rest all the way down onto your back, either onto a prop like a pillow or bolster or all the way on the floor. Now, if you are in the most advanced variation, then I invite you to extend your arms overhead getting a full extension through the chest and the shoulders as well here. Once again, continue to breathe deeply, using that breath to help deal with the discomfort, to help find mental strength, focus here. Also to make more space for the body to relax so that fascia can release, letting go of tension, stored emotional energy, 
regulating our nervous systems. Less than one minute left here. I'm going to leave you once again. Go inward. Be present. All right, great job, you guys. If you are all the way down on your back, then begin by coming first to your elbows, then to the hands. And let's walk the hands, bringing our chest slowly back up, releasing that left leg, maybe shaking out the legs for just a moment. And then when you're ready, go ahead and find your single leg saddle on the other side now, bending the right leg. Settling down into this pose, into whatever variation best serves your body today. Noticing if the tension or the stiffness is different on this side than on the first side. Walk the hands back, finding your edge in this pose, that place where you feel a deep and effective stretch happening, but where you're able to maintain control over the breath. Inhaling deeply and exhaling fully and slowly. You're doing wonderfully. Continue to stay here, breathing through the discomfort. Typically, we hold poses for three or more minutes in yin, but since this is a more uncomfortable pose for some, we're just starting with two minutes today. So with just over a minute left here, once again, go inward to listen to the wisdom of the body. With your next exhale, begin making your way out of this pose now. If you're all the way on your back, first coming to the elbows, then the hands, and walking the hands back up. Release the legs and find your way into our final Shavasana now, corpse pose. Once more, gently tuck those shoulder blades down and back, making sure you have a neutral position in the spine. Arms resting at the sides, palms facing up. If you have any pain or discomfort in the low back after that last pose, then think about pulling the belly button in, getting that low back flat to the floor. Scan through the body again, noticing any area still holding on to resistance or tension. And with your next exhale, see if you can release that finding an even deeper state of relaxation than you have yet today. Inhale, feeling the low belly rise. And sigh the breath away, feeling yourself sink a little deeper into the surface beneath you.
I'd encourage you to stay in your Shavasana even longer today if you have time. But if you have to get on with your day, then begin inviting some gentle movement back into the fingers and toes. Nod the head side to side. And when you're ready, turn onto your right side and meet me seated for our final closing breath together. Taking just a moment more to scan through the body, to take inventory, notice the effects that this practice has had on you mentally, physically, or emotionally. With your next inhale, sweep the arms up toward the sky, stretching the whole body, beginning to wake it back up. And exhale, hands to prayer, heart center, as you acknowledge yourself with gratitude for taking this time to honor your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I hope it has brought some peace and relief to your day. If you enjoyed this video, would you please do me a huge favor and be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest classes and videos. If you want some more exclusive perks, I have some membership options available and you can find out more about those on my channel page. Thank you so much for your support and for joining me for today's practice. I will see you soon, my friends. Namaste.